Hey, this is Commander Bacon. And Shelly. With His Way Homestead, and we've got a lot of stuff to do today. We want to show you what's going on and where we're at. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's what we got going on. See that big pile of dirt, right? There. There. <laughs> um, that is cotton burr compost. Cotton burr compost. And see this big right there underneath the tarp uh that's that's two scoops from the skid bucket and that's one scoop in the truck and um we're gonna put that in the raised beds that we made the other day the problem is small problem it's a problem it's a small problem it's not a big problem well we can overcome it it's, it's big in volume a little bit of uh redneck ingenuity i think so the problem is, it's been raining for a hundred bazillion years here in Mississippi, uh, nonstop every day. So we, our backyard is like a swamp. So what we've had to do is build a bridge to nowhere. That's to somewhere. Well, it's through the raised beds. So let's see if we can do this. Turn I don't, them around. I don't know if we can do this. Let's see. So okay. So maybe you can see it might squish when I walk on it. You can probably hear it if I shut up. Hey, there's chickens. And you can see how muddy it is in there. They've got a river flowing. So we've had to put down this makeshift bridge just to be able to walk to carry buckets of dirt to get it out to our raised beds. This is not a fun thing. You can see where, see all the mud that we tore up already. Um, yeah, it's it's a great day, great day. So, and even stepping on there, you, you get a big hole. So yeah, so it's uh, pretty exciting. So we got one raised bed filled up. So we're, we're you wanna to explain to about the sticks well it's kind of my version of hoogle culture if hoogle co hoogle hoogle culture if you know what that is you pile logs together and fill it with dirt and leaves and things like that well i don't have time space logs or anything so i put like in my beds that we did last year that one are in there <laughs> yeah these um we did have some big logs that we put down in there and then put the cotton burr compost over top and rabbit manure uh this year i don't have any big things but we did have an oak tree that fell and this is some of the stuff that we have left so i'm filling that and that will decay in there and add nutrients it also adds moisture uh, for whenever the sun finally does shine and it stops raining. So um, we'll fill this up with a cotton burr compost. As soon as we can get a wheelbarrow in where the animals are, we'll get some rabbit poop and fill it up the rest of the way. We'll have really good soil to grow our vegetables in this year. And hugel culture is just fun to say. Hugel culture. Hugel. Everybody say it together. One hugel culture. All right. So, um, and it's it, cold here. It is chilly. There's a little bit of uh, briskness in the air. Um, so I had some people comment on my new uh, hairless face. Uh, I was just getting way too good looking. It was embarrassing. The women that would come up to me. It's not fair. It's not fair to them. So what I did, I decided to uncover some more ugly. And then that way, it's just not such a temptation for them. So it's a community service kind of, you know, I'm doing it for the ladies, really. I, I don't, what about me? Well, I, you love me for the inside. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> it's deeper than my beard. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we've got a muddy mess here. Um, and I don't know if you can see some of it, if it'll really show up. You can see some of the ruts that we have out there where we tried to bring... Uh, dirt in already 
It's um, just standing water on the ground everywhere. Yeah. So we had to regrip the phone. So we we had um, one scoop on the trailer already, and we we did we moved one whole scoop, which filled up one raised bed. Almost. Almost. Uh, well, we put some in the other raised bed. So um, we've got three more scoops. And we found a place that we actually got it cheaper. So that yeah. was, yay, $9 a scoop cheaper. So that was a good thing. So we saved uh, $27. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Um, you have to get to work. Yeah. We kind of think that that was our last trip to civilization. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna lock ourselves down. I'm to hunker down. Lock it down. Nobody go in, nobody go out. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Um, two weeks for the next two weeks, I can't go into the office building if I wanted to. Um, so we're just gonna stay at home and uh, and ride it out and enjoy the family and the work that we have to do. We, we have plenty of work to do here. Yeah, so. we did get some more material to make the horizontal hives. I'm still working out the, the plans with that, uh, but we should be able to make two of the horizontal hives. We've got seven of the uh, swarm trap boxes built. We need to put lids on them, get the lids built. We need to build a ton of frames. And I think I'm gonna do like a modified Langster frame with uh, kind of like a, a Frankenstein between a Langstroth and a um, Layens. Kind of the size of a, Langstroth, but made like a lens. Uh, it's cold. It's we cold. Need, we need to get to and that'll be another video. Mm -hmm. Bee stuff. Believe that we're going to do that, mm -hmm. hopefully. So, anyway, I uh, hope everybody's having a great Saturday so far. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope nobody's getting infected or testing positive. Uh, just hunker down and, and take it easy for a while and enjoy your family, your, your friends, and. Uh, but not more than nine others at a time. We gotta stay less than 10 and uh, just make the most of it. You know, um, it's not the best situation in the world, but you don't have to make it worse by griping and complaining. Keep a good attitude, be positive about it, have a good time with it, uh, make the most of it. Enjoy the people that are around you. And uh, anyway, you have anything else to say? I'm ready to work. She's ready to work. She's a slave driver. She's killing me. Send help, please. Now, anyway, uh, we got a lot of work to do. Um, it's kind of dry right now as it was drizzling earlier. Um, we're going to get off here and get some work done. So, All right, we made a lot of progress. You can see those two are pretty much filled up. That one's pretty much filled up. The truck is empty. And the trailer is about you know, two thirds empty, maybe. So this will this will help us be able to plant our garden and make sure we have enough produce, just in case Kroger has empty shelves again. So stay tuned. So yeah, the sun is in our the eyes. In it's amazing. Eyes. It's not raining. There's sun. Thank you, Lord, for sun. Yes. So. What do you got going on back here? You got a little kitty pool. Yeah. What are you not, doing? It's not for my kitties. What are you doing with it? It's not for my ducks either. I'm gonna plant taters. Taters? Gotta plant taters. Taters. Oh, taters. All right. Gotta like taters. Yeah. Taters are good uh, depression food. Hmm. So you want to show them what we did already? Uh. And what we're gonna do? Yeah. So you you explain it. This is your your deal. All right. Let me grab the phone a little bit different. So I got my handy dandy husband to drill me holes, and that's not bird poop, it's mud. Drilled holes all around it and in the sides, up the sides a little bit. This is weed barrier fabric, and I can't hear it myself because I have cotton in my ears from the wind. So there's the holes yeah. up along the side. The tire is just there to hold this down so it doesn't blow away while I go get some dirt. So I'm going to put just a, uh, I'm gonna put just a really uh, short layer of dirt on it and then put the potatoes on top and then we're gonna um, cover it with straw. And as they grow, we're gonna keep covering it with straw. We're just gonna see how it does. We'll see what happens. Woo! That's exciting. That's what I'm talking about. Taters. Taters in the ground. Woo! All right, so 
we did get all the dirt filled in with these raised beds. Ooh, they look pretty. Very nice. Oh, and look, I have taters down here already. It's got taters, taters in the tire. Taters in the tire. Tire taters. Okay. Tire taters. So as these grow, we'll add another tire and just keep adding soil to it. And we'll just let those grow up. And whenever they're ready, we'll dump the tires over. And we don't have to dig out the taters. You got a bunch of tires. We'll have a lot of taters. Hopefully. Tater tires. Hopefully. Yep. So just in case. Uh, our apocalypse food. Our, yeah. In case the apocalypse continues, uh, we will be ready. And I suggest everybody get ready. And that's great for a family that doesn't eat carbs, but you, yeah. know, you do what you got to do. Yep. In the depression, we might need carbs. Yeah. Yeah. We needed a little carbs to come out here and heft all this dirt. Yeah. So. By bucket. Yeah. Bucket load. Every five gallon bucket of dirt. So that was a lot of dirt. That was, was a lot of dirt. We had both boys helping us out. That was that was Part huge. Of the time. One yeah. of them just got off work and came straight out to help. So that was awesome. Yeah, very good. And now he's gone back to work. Poor kid. Yeah. That's okay. It's good for him. Yep. Nothing wrong with work is good. Only one person that I ever heard of died from working too hard, and that was John Henry. I don't know if you guys remember that song or not. That was an old old song. I don't know what you're talking about. John Henry. He. Uh, he was one of those that drilled holes with a hammer and a drill into the mountains. And uh, he ended up having to do two or three men's work and he, he worked himself to death. His heart exploded. Oh. John Henry, don't know if it's true, but it was a song about it, so we'll see. Anyway, so we're kind of drying out. The ground is getting a little drier. The Just ducks, in time for it to rain tomorrow. Yeah, the ducks are loving it though. They go around and every little puddle, they stick their bill in it and just make a bigger mess. So that's great. Mm -hmm. um, but- Show my broccoli and cauliflower for you. Where, okay. That's pretty. All right, so we're gonna walk through the garden area, the raised beds. And uh, it's some of it's like a water bed when you step on it. It's really muddy underneath. All right, so what do we got here growing? We have broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. So all that is broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. Yeah, but those are cheap because I bought those at the store. Oh, she bought starters. Yeah. Cheater. 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 How could you feel good about that? Uh, I can't even eat that stuff. You Blech. don't have to. Blech. Blech. <laughs> I planted those over there that are coming up. Yay. I planted all this in here that's coming out. Ooh, look at that. That is awesome. Yeah. This is our old, one of our old chicken cages. We had uh, two of these hoop cages together and it made like, it was 20 foot long and we made it to where like a 12 by 20 tarp would make the roof. And uh, we just got really tired of, it'd be a storm raining, pouring down destroy that tarp and we'd have to come out in the middle of the rain and do something to help protect the chickens. So we got tired of that. Uh, we split them up into two and let me see. This is our little garden area and with a, like a trellis so that when she does pole beans, it grows right up the outside of it. And then and there's the other half of it. We put corrugated metal on it to make a roof and uh, that's where the chickens live. That's where they stay. That's where they roost for the night. So anyway, um, we're trying to dry out, trying to get some stuff done. We got a lot done today. Uh, been a good day, I think, so far. Yep. What do you think? Good day. Good day. All right. So speaking of good day, we'll say good day to you all. And I hope you guys had a great day too. So anyway, um, until next time, don't forget, his way is the best way. We'll see you.